Amen. Time to hear every word uh, that was read earlier. It says, then uh, Matthew 28, 16 says, then the eleven disciples went to Galilee into a mountain where Jesus had a public room. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Uh, I'm going to go to the 19th verse because that's what I want to talk about today. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Amen. That's all I want to say. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Let's pray. Father God, we come down in the matchless name of Jesus. We thank you. Not only for who you are, but we thank you for what you are. We thank you, God, that you brought us to this side of the mountain one more time to die of thy word. Lord, well, we ask that the necklace of your spirit breathe on us, Father God, that the anointed fill every crack and crevice of this space, God, that you might be magnified uh, in this time. Lord, we ask you to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be not only acceptable, but guided, rooted, and designed by you. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, and thank God. Uh, there is uh, sometimes in us or uh, um, you know, that we can uh, grow up with or stories or things that we hear uh, on a constant basis. In other words, uh, when I was a kid, uh, we used to watch The Wizard of Oz. Um, and The Wizard of Oz came on one every year at the same uh, time of the year. It was normally around the pre-spring time in March. Uh, and The Wizard of Oz would come on and as it came on, uh, my brothers and sisters, you all, after watching it for years, even though you knew what was going to happen, you still uh, had those points where you would anticipate what you knew was getting ready uh, to go on. We, we've had stories uh, like that, stories that we love, or movies that we love. Our children, I know mine, would watch uh, Walt Disney movies till they could recite all the words, uh, sing all the songs, and, and do everybody's part. I don't know about yours, but mine uh, would turn them and you know, get it on, and they would watch that thing 10, 12 times or uh, all day if you let them. Uh, why? Because they were, that's just the way uh, they were. Those same old stories, the same stuff happened, and they would watch them over and over. We do that as adults. We have uh, things. I don't know about you all, but uh, I, we have uh, things where we know the punchline, and we know the joke, and, and we know the so on type stuff that goes on. In the story, uh, uh, but and mine is Norman. I'm, I'm a Norman fan. I love the movie Norman. Even though I know what's going to happen, I'm still laughing at it every time. Seems like I find something different to laugh at uh, every time I watch the movie. And I, I can watch it every day. It, it would give me joy to watch it every day because that's how I am about uh, the movie Norman. But, you know, but understand, there are stories. Uh, that we know, things that we hear and or participate in, uh, the festivals of, but they have lost their effectiveness on us. Uh, uh, you know, there, 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 there are times, there are stories that come out that we see them and we read them, we know the plot and everything, but when you first heard it, uh, it did something to you. It caused a reaction in you. It caused uh, you to be excited or it caused you to be sad or it caused a, a some type of a sense of action uh, in you. And that's how it is uh, with some of us. But over time, we lose or it loses its uh, effectiveness. Some people call it desensitized. And I know uh, for those in the uh, 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 gay community, uh, they began to force that down our throat because it desensitizes us uh, to see it that. I know the first time somebody pulled a gun on me, I was terrified. It shook me to my core. But now, for somebody to pull a gun out, it's nothing no more. You just see it and you go, why? Because if you've lost, it's lost its effectiveness on us, even though it's in our face all Events that used to cause us a reaction that lost their hold on us. Uh, some women used to love the movie Love and Basketball, I think. Uh, but when they watch it now, it may do something to them, but the, the effectiveness of it changes 
as we move along. But think about uh, when you first got saved. When the Lord first really got hold of you. Um, I can't speak for you, but every time the church door opened, I wanted to be there. Um, I wasn't on the usher board, but if the usher was me, I wanted to be there. Uh, if the choir, I used to sing choir rehearsal, and, and, and wasn't even in the echoes of Eden, which was a single choir, just because I wanted to be somewhere where somebody was doing, saying, or uh, having something to do with Jesus Christ. Uh, my heart was bubbled over, and I could not help myself for wanting to be there just to be in the building, just to be among saints, just to be around. Why? Because in the initial, I couldn't help myself. I just love God and God loved me and I could not help myself for wanting to be uh, in that same uh, boat with those people. Those all saints would sometimes get together and start a fire uh, in a tea meeting or in a dinner meeting or in some other type of meeting just talking about uh, the, the Lord and I just love that type of uh, environment when I first got saved uh, 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 Amazing Grace was an awesome song when I first got saved six months down the road I ain't, I ain't want to hear that about Amazing Grace um, I wanted to be around the saints but there was some stuff that was starting to leave uh, my initial high or my initial uh, grabbing of my initial invitation into uh, Christ Jesus. I was burning and wanted to do everything right like a scared straight project. I didn't want to do nothing wrong uh, when it came uh, to living my life uh, for Christ. But as time went on, uh, that, that, that situation began to wear off uh, of me. And, and, and so it, it, it bothers me now uh, that, that the same story and the same thing that God told me to do uh, when he saved me is still there. But it's lost its, it's lost its faith, its flavor, it's lost its subject, it's, it's lost its ability to get us excited about uh, the Lord Jesus uh, Christ. Are you hearing I uh, mean, it's caused us to uh, be lackluster about our zeal uh, for serving God. Uh, I don't know if it's because we've been in it uh, for a long time, uh, but God has not uh, stopped blessing us. He hasn't stopped waking us up in the morning. He hasn't right. stopped giving us help and strength. He hasn't stopped carrying us through some storms. He hasn't stopped blessing our bodies and giving us our help. But something along the longevity has caused us to have a lackluster. For that situation. In this, in this text, my brothers and sisters, Jesus' is crucifixion um, and his death, and I'm, I'm just taking it from Mark uh, 15, 21 through 41. Uh, Jesus was taken uh, to the place called uh, Godbrotha, which means the place of uh, skulls for his uh, crucifixion. This is where all crucifixions took place. It was just um, outside the city walls, and if you follow the story, you know he was taken uh, there, and crucifixion uh, was used on the worst criminals, uh, as it was very treacherous uh, form of execution according uh, to the Jewish scripture. Those who died by crucifixion under, uh, was under God's uh, curse, yet Jesus uh, is crucified. It was a common uh, to make a criminal carry his own cross, uh, being uh, uh, up, that God was healed, and here we find Jesus Christ uh, carrying uh, his cross uh, to be crucified. The fact that Jesus needed assistance from Simon and Simon tells us uh, uh, how weak he must have been, both physically uh, and mentally. But the soldiers offered him a drink to revise uh, his pain, but he did not take it. Romans crucified people publicly as an example to others. Many people would have watched the crucifixion and shouted insults at the criminals on the top of each cross. There would have been a sign outlining of the crime committed. And on the top of Jesus' cross, his crime was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Jesus, my brothers and sisters, was crucified uh, from the six to the ninth hours, what they say, from 9 a.m. between uh, two bandits. And, uh, and you wonder why? Again, because as I told you uh, before, something about the 
story is now a lack luster in our spirit. And so we don't go or we don't have the same uh, reaction that we did when Christ first saved us. He said the crowd, uh, including the religious leaders, laughed at Jesus' witness and made fun of him. They shouted, he saved others and he cannot uh, save uh, himself. In this moment, uh, we can see Jesus as a suffering servant. Alone and rejected my own. This was prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Uh, but he was a suffering, a servant. Why? Because he was suffering for our sins, not just the sins that we've already committed, but those that we're going to commit. He was put to death for the sins of our people. Isaiah 53, they says he was taken uh, from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? But he was cut off out, out of the land of the living and the transgressions of my people. He was stricken, marked because some unusual events which occurred uh, during the crucifixion uh, of Jesus. His was what? Said, what said, darkness descended uh, on the whole region, even though uh, it was in the middle of the day. In, in the Jewish scripture, darkness was seen as a symbol of tragedy. Jesus did cry out, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken uh, me? Some people thought he was calling uh, Elijah and uh, who they believed would help uh, those indeed many and uh, reflected on why Jesus said this. Did he feel abandoned by his father? Uh, Jesus cried out with a loud shout and died at three o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Now uh, it seems strange that Jesus had the strength to cry when he was sentenced from death. This is maybe the reason for the Roman centurion thinking he was who he said he was. After, de- after Jesus' death, uh, there was an earthquake. People rose uh, from the dead. This was a symbol that all those who believed and trusted Jesus would be brought forgiveness and a new life. The, the curtain uh, hanging in the Holy of Holies, uh, the veil they said was ripped uh, in two from top to bottom. Uh, the curtain tore from the top, suggesting that it was torn by God. That the way uh, uh, of, to him was open. The barrier to God has been removed through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That was the story, y'all. What do we do with the story? What do we do with it? The story. I know when it was the Wizard of Oz, what we did with it was got ready for. The next year, we may have bragged, talked about some of the scenes in it, but eventually it moved on and took its place after the after hearing it one more time. Uh, does it cause a true reaction out of you as it did when the Lord first saved you? Uh, verse 17 says, and when they saw him, uh, they worshiped him, but some doubt it. Does it make you want to worship Christ? Uh, hearing the story of what he went through uh, for you and I. Psalms uh, 42 and 1 says, As a deer, a uh, panic for streams of uh, water, so my soul longing after you, O oh God. Does it cause the reaction of you wanting to be closer to him after hearing and reviewing the story one uh, more time? My, my soul thirsts uh, for God, the living God. Does it make you want to do your best for God? Hearing what God did for you uh, as an individual, as a personal, and I will personalize in order to cause a reaction in you, uh, knowing what God did uh, for you. He sent his only begotten son, mm-hmm. that whosoever believeth in him should not go to hell, but shall have everlasting life with him. Uh, knowing that everybody will live uh, forever, at least the spirit will live forever, and he's giving you an opportunity uh, to live in paradise uh, with him. What does that do to you? To know that, that, that heaven came down and glory filled your soul. Your sins were washed away. Your nights were turned to me. What does it do to you? To know that there is healing in his wings. And that all he has to do is speak the word and things manifest in your life. All he has to do is tell or say the words of the things you remember in Exodus when he looked uh, at the, at, at the uh, Pharaoh's army in the midst of uh, the sea and the wheels of uh, the Bible saying of uh, the chariot uh, came out. He said he blew his breath 